I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's the review for Violation. The strongest ingredient in this film is the actors. Happy moments feel real, relationships believable. Some of the early scenes might be improvised, so the actors are let loose to be creative and just be in the moment. The horrific graphic scenes work because they're realistic, honest and take time, which ramps up uncomfortable thoughts and emotions. But the problem is there's not enough conflict and threat to support the horrific acts. For example, this character isn't used enough. His backstory would have added another intriguing layer. Unfortunately, there's one bad continuity shot of a person's head's position, which is lazy and should have been sorted out in the edit. Shots of insects and a dead rabbit with stunning environments and foreboding classical music didn't drag me deeper into the story. Instead, these shots feel included as a way to make the running time longer. I'm sure if I dig deep, the interpretation of these shots is interesting and of value. But when I'm watching a film, I don't want to sit around and have a philosophical chat about hidden meanings. I want what's happening on screen to instantly vibe with me and take me deeper down the rabbit hole. 20 minutes into this ride, I thought scenes were missing, it was really confusing. So the time frame of scenes jumping backwards and forwards is unnecessary. So Violation is badly put together. If the story was linear, this film experience would have been far more powerful. The sad thing is that Violation will be remembered for the wrong reason. It will always be referred to as that film with that scene where the actor's naked and you see his erection. I suggest you spend your time watching this film instead, A Vigilante, which gives strength and hope to those who are trapped in a terrifying toxic situation.